Hello everyone and welcome back to Aegon the Conqueror here in CK2 Game of Thrones. Now in the last episode we finished our conquest of the Three Daughters as well as the Stepstones. And guys, I have heard you. Yes, I will make Rhaenys the Lady Paramount of the Stepstones as you have requested. And I think it does make a lot of sense. After all, she was the one who initiated the attack on the Stepstones. She simply didn't finish it, but now we can kind of give it to her as a gift. And also, uh, I'm happy to announce that I've actually found a way to do this without using, you know, you know, without having to use any cheats or console commands or whatever. So, um, now basically what I need to do, I need to kind of well, it's, it's not a sketchy thing, really, but it, it is kind of strange. But what I need to do, because I can't just offer vassalization, um, I have to actually go ahead and usurp the King of Stepstones and then make Rainey's a vassal. Now, because we have conquered all of this, it's actually possible for us to usurp this. And now that we have taken over the kingdom, Rainey's is no longer... Oh, now Rainey's is only a duke, so she will now accept vassalization. Now, this obviously pissed her off quite a bit. However, all of the negative modifiers from that will be offset once I give her control over all of these vassals. So she will actually like us quite a bit. She will become a vassal, but she will still be the Lady Paramount of uh, the Stepstone. So I think this is a really good idea, or a really good solution, and I'm very happy I'm able to do this without having to use any cheats. Now, um, I don't know what this is. A series of laws has... A series of laws passed by King Aegon of the Iron Throne, limiting the powers of his vassal, the High Septon, in the realm. One of these laws prohibits the faith from arming, and so the faith militant comprising of the warrior's sons and poor fellows has been disbanded. Um, okay. That's, uh, that's interesting. I don't know why. That must have something to do with the laws of the Stepstones. Because, um, yeah, let's have a quick look. They have low faith authority, which means due to lack of armed forces. So he doesn't have any armed forces. Whereas here, the High Septon, the Faith Militant is legal. Right. Um, and what, what are rules for the Iron Throne? We do not have any law set. That's very interesting. I could go for low or medium. Hmm. Well, I don't think we'll we'll do this. I will give out the stepstones anyway, so that should kind of just get just get rid of this uh, thing. Anyways, so we have invited Rainies to become our vassal. We'll then give her the uh, well command over the stepstones, and um, yeah. Uh, also, people have been talking about uh, whether or not Ori should have his own cadet branch, maybe make him a target uh, Baratheon again, and maybe giving him his own coat of arms. But I honestly don't really want to do this um, because he asked to be legitimized. He wants to become, or he wanted to become a true Targaryen, so changing his coat of arms just seems wrong. Um, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, there were actually some ideas on how I could do that, and they sort of worked. Not really, which is also a reason why I don't want to do it. But yeah, for now, I just also don't see a reason why I should change it. So he's a full Targaryen, and we'll leave it at that for now. Um, and yeah, last but not least, one thing I do want to talk about, Visenya no longer has her Dragon Act. In fact, she's actually given it away to her daughter, Prince Princess Valiana. So now she has a Dragon Act, and that kind of makes her more important than she was before. But yeah, we'll see how that turns out. Perhaps she's going to hatch that dragon herself. Uh, but yeah, we'll see. Uh, anyways, so I think we can go forward, um, yes, and uh, see if Rhaenys will accept our vassalization. Your bannerman Lord Morgan Massey is currently under threat from external enemies. Uh, of course, we shall, uh, it is my duty. Yes, of course. Who is it though? Who are you, who are you even fighting? Uh, Archon Slave Raid on Massey's hook. Oh, look at that. A Pentoshi. Well, that actually is kind of answering my next question because I was wondering who we should declare war on next. But, you know, with his subjects declaring wars on our subjects, I think we're going to have to conquer Pentos now. Um, so yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. However, I do want to wait until we have Rainies under under our control, I guess. That sound, sounds strange, but you get the idea. And Until uh, Rainies, this is just a marriage, until Rainies has accepted vassalage. Okay, good. So, um, let's go ahead and grant her her kingdom back. There you go. Make her queen of the stepstones again. Very nice. And she likes us 100. Very good. So, minus 40 usurped the title, but, but plus, plus 40 for, having a, for being a lover. And also plus 40 for granting a region, and plus 80 for the vassal transfer, so she should really like us uh, quite a bit. Awesome. Now, one thing I could also do is appoint her as a commander, and I will do that, and once she is a commander, she no longer leads her own troops, and that is very good for another reason, because that will increase the chances of her 
um, and me having having kids. I mean, she's lustful after all, although being stressed does lower fertility as well. Um, still, she sh she should have some some extra fertility. So yeah, we'll we'll see. We'll see if that maybe she can have some some sons because that would be cool. They could then continue the line of House Targaryen of. Uh, the stepstones. But yeah, uh, let's continue. I do want to see what's going on with this war. I, because I actually think that we are going to, are we, is this going to continue? No, yeah, I was waiting for this event actually. Okay, so the, uh, the wars have subsided for now, which should also end this war, yes. And what? Princess Daria of Dawn declared a Dornish, the stepstones war of emancipation on Queen Rhaenys. Apparently Rhaenys has is a slave owner still. No, she is not. Okay, so that should be... That war should be over. She is no longer... There's no more slavery. This is no longer allowed. So I don't know if that... That's still going on. Can you end your war, please? End your war. Um... Okay, due to the level of realm authority the in the Iron Throne, this command will be legally binding. Oh yes, we, will, we shall do that. Stand down. I, I command you to end your war. Okay, so I'm afraid I cannot end this war. My cause is just, and as such, you have no right to command me to stand down. I will have her arrested for treason. Um, I will name someone else rightful ruler of Dawn. Ooh, maybe I will allow it just this one time. Ooh, this is very interesting. Um, hmm, I, ah, man, why are you even doing this? Uh, I have her arrested. Do I want her arrest? Do I want to have a new... You know what? She shall be arrested. Although I would like to see what this does. But it would probably give me tyranny, I imagine. Um, I will name someone else rightful ruler of the dawn. No, I think I will have you arrested. 20% chance that she does not like me. Okay, she's, she's arrested, which should end her war. Uh, but it doesn't. Take her as my lover. Uh, command to end the war. Do it now. You're arrested. You should accept. There's not. There's nothing you can do about it. Okay, she's stopped. Very good. Alright, so we have the Dornish princess in prison because she attacked my sister wife. Alright, good. And I want you to no longer be... <laughs> Stop being in command, Rainies. I'm gonna have to put you in command personally just so you can. I can resign you. Damn it. Because I wanted to have her as a commander so that she no longer leads her own troops because then we can have some kids. Okay, so finally we have that dealt with. Ah, oh, man, so much drama. I think Daria might be might be jealous. Hmm, could be. Anyway, so we have our realm under control again and now I think it's time that we declare war on Pentas after his subjects have threatened our subjects. We can only declare emancipation war, which I don't actually want to. Um... Can we have a quick look at the laws? Can I no longer... Can I check out the laws, actually? No, I can no longer check them out. I don't know... I don't think they have slavery anymore. I think they do not. Because that's the same thing that happened to the Ironborn. They should not have... Yeah, abolished slavery. Minus 25% chance. Yeah, so this should not even have happened. This war should not even have happened. Anyways, we dealt with it swiftly, so that's fine. And, um, yeah, some more people trying to kill others. That's that's totally cool. Uh, I wonder if we can now declare the Dragon Conquest. Yes, we can. All right, so let's do that. After all, we have a good reason to go to war. All right, so everyone hopefully will honor their obligations. We can also raise some men right here, and I think we will do that. Um, now, I'm going to lead myself. I want the Senia as a commander as well, if that is possible. Let me see. Can we have... Yes, there is the Senia as a commander. Very good. I want her by my side. And I guess we're gonna... We're gonna also have... Yeah, Lud, Lud Stark with us. And we're gonna go ahead. And who's this guy? Rexstone army. And I, I don't really know what they're doing. But it doesn't matter. We're gonna make our way over to Pentos and destroy these forces. Okay, excellent. Ori's is joining. Uh, Tyrosh is joining as well. Rainies, of course, is joining. The Reach, the Stormlands, everyone almost... Very nice. Okay, that should be enough enough troops to take down Pentos. He might even be wise, but I doubt it, actually. Yeah, he does not seem to be wise. Oh, actually, he is wise. Okay, never mind. All right, so the Lord of Pentos has seen that, you know, my cause is just, and he has bent the knee. Rightfully so. Rightfully so, indeed. Okay, um, so until next time. You know what? I think 
what we should do now is actually, since we are the, the rightful lord of the Andals, the Roina, and the First Men, we should obviously also control all of the Andal people and the Roinish people. So I think these are the next people that should bend the knee. Simply because, um, so we're going to have to wait until um, our men have, have stand down. Yep, stand on our forces and then we can declare another war. Uh, appoint the old council, of course. Stand down the ships as well as the troops. That was a short war. Very good. So Rainies, I hope you're no longer in command. Good. I want, I want a son um, because then he could continue your line. Alright, anyways, so this is dealt with. Uh, let's have a quick look. Does it even make sense to appoint my council? I mean, we're going to be at war immediately anyways, so yeah. Uh, let's go ahead. Okay, I have to wait. I would like to declare war on you four guys because the rest, this, all of this are ruins as well as Nisar. But these four provinces are actually held by, by actual characters. So they should uh, bend the knee to the rightful king of the Roina as well as the uh, Andal people. Um, awesome. So, can I do this now? Can I? I can still not declare war. And you do not want to accept me as your rightful lord. Hmm. Well, that's too bad for you because you will have to kneel before the dragon one way or another. Um, and you know what? It's not going to be pleasant if you, if you choose to fight me. I can tell you that much. Okay, I'm going to declare all of the wars immediately, or, well, at once, I should say, because otherwise it could get a bit frustrating. Yes, let's see who joins us, but let's declare, um, as I said, several wars. There we go. Um, yes. Oh my god, so much clicking for one, for one tiny uh, thing. But still, I feel like this does make sense. There we go. And you all as well. Then you. Yes. There we go. And last but not least, Golden Bridge. Alright, so now I'm... I'm assuming that many of these guys will bend the knee. It's just likely. It's just uh, very likely that this will happen. Okay, look how many people actually joined this war. The Vale, the Riverlands, the Reach, the, the Stormlands. I think they all know that they've seen what happens to, to um, you know, people that defy me. So they, they choose not to do this anymore. Okay, everyone is wise. Oh my god, glorious. Well, after all, they know that I'm their rightful king. So it does make sense. I'm very glad. I'm very glad that they have been wise and accepted. Okay, until next time. So I think for now, we might actually want to stay at peace. Now, I do need to transfer... I've seen that before. I need to transfer vassalage over here um, to the stocks. Yes, this house branch. There you go. And I think everything else looks fine. Yeah, all right. Awesome. So um, actually, you know what? We are over our vassal myth. That's not good. That's not good at all. Um, you risk losing vassals if your character dies. Oh, I totally did not think about this. So that means I need to... Well, I guess I could give out these... Hmm. Upper Roin. Cannot create this title, though. I would love to create this title. Huh. I own... I own all three... Mm, I would like to add this title, make someone a high lord here, but maybe what I'm gonna have to do is just give out this, give out control to the Pentoshi. After all, he bent the knee. He's a tyrant. Hmm, not really sure. We just won over our vassal, which is not too much. It's not that much. Huh, still though, maybe having loads of the claw would be useful as well? Don't know. My young ward has finished his educational learning, uh, philosophy and religion. It seems he has learned all the basic skills required. Awesome. So Lord Lyman gains the dutiful uh, cleric. That's awesome. Actually, um, I'm not sure if I've mentioned this before, but I've actually married Lord Lyman off to a Valyrian, uh, one, one of my Valyrian curious, in the hopes that perhaps the Lannisters will change the Valyrian faith. That would be great, but I'm not sure if that's actually going to happen. But yeah, um, we are over a vassal. That is actually rather, rather terrible. Now I don't know if that m that might be because Lice is currently at war, or Lease, as some say. Um, maybe that, yeah, maybe that that will that will uh, fix itself. Still though, that means we cannot really conquer that many more provinces. Hmm. Okay, that's kind of a bummer. 
Because there's there's a lot more free cities left. I mean, Novos is currently in a civil war, it seems. Fighting Novos against Novos. Mm -hmm. um, yes. Stop your plots, please. Come on. That's rather frustrating. Anyways, so we have... We are now the, truly the rightful king of the uh, Andals and the Rhoyna. Now, of course, the first men. We could obviously go beyond the wall and take this over as well. But I simply... I simply don't really want to do that, because the, there's no way to actually declare one the Night's Watch, at least I don't think so. And then quickly she- yeah, there's no- there's no way. I could declare war beyond- on Beyond the Wall, um, but then I would always have the Night's Watch in between, and that's just kind of so ugly, um, I don't really want to do that, so yeah, I will not do that. However, I thought, at least, I could force- force train- okay, he's already been force trained. Can I also train my daughters? No, apparently not. Alright, that's fine. Oh, I do need to appoint my counselors though. So, Ori's, I want you to train my children, since I cannot do that anymore. And my Hand of the King, you know what, I'm actually going to send you off to Dragonstone, where Rainies is apparently... Are you a leading man again? Stop it, Rainies. <sighs> Can't believe she keeps doing that. Alright, I'll tell you this once more. Oh, she's not even... Oh, I see. She's not a command anymore. I see. Can I make her one? Hmm. Rainies. Stop it. All right, Gaiman, I'm going to have to dismiss you as a commander for now because I, I want Rainies to be a commander just so that we can actually make some babies. Rainies, please stop being a commander. Thank you. That's amazing. All right. And now, come on, let's uh, let's have a let's have a son, all right? Before you die of of stress, that would be rather terrible. I mean, I'm actually going to be the one who inherits the uh, the stepstones, and I'm going to have to find a new Lord Paramount for that region. And I don't really have anyone. I mean, I guess no, I guess I know who I'm going to go with. If if Rainies, if we should not have a son together with Rainies, if if no one of House Targaryen inherits the skulls, uh you know, but me, then we'll give the Lord Paramount to Pirate Lord Sirio, simply because, um, I'm gonna go with this option right here, simply because he was the only one who fought against the dragon, so he is a brave man, and also, he's obviously content, which will improve our relations, and also, obviously, they are just amazing, because they have their own Valyrian steel sword. Okay, and we're now at 40 out of 40. Lovely. That is, that is rather helpful. Rhaenys, you, okay, you are not at war anymore. Good. Stay don't don't be a commander. Just don't do it. I don't want to. Um, okay, still waiting for some of these events to go through, which uh, you know could happen any time. Basically, it's a, there's a mean time to happen, and it hasn't happened yet. And um, you have released someone. That's fine. Now, um, yeah, this is something I didn't really elaborate on, but basically what happened with Ori's and his uh, cadet branch. I tried the cadet two cadet. Point two event for the Targaryen cadet branches and um, that worked for Ori's but not for his daughter so they would have different so she would stay of house Targaryen whereas Ori's would then be a different house and that obviously caused quite some tr some problems so I think the only way I can really do this is if Ori's is heir uh, before he has any children I can make him of a of a different um, yeah of a different house Maybe that works, but always must be dead. So it's very, it's actually rather complicated. So I don't think I'm really going to change his coat of arms or, he, you know, establish a cadet branch for him. Uh, Your Grace, a raven has arrived from Lord Master Nyasos at Silkhead. He has announced a wedding between Donifer's Rogar and Talia. Only the formality of your agreement is now, um, sure. Yeah, I, I don't think I really care. They have made a scent. There you go. A a enjoy. I wonder actually if I can, since these guys are. High Valyrian, can I offer vassalization? Not my de jure foreign culture. They actually would. There's actually a chance they might accept. Distant realm. Hmm. Okay, I'm not distant to Montaris, but I'm distant to Illyria. So I guess once we take over Volantis, that, uh, that will work. Okay, but before we take on any more vassals, I kind of need to... I kind of need to get... Well, in increase my vassal limit. Hmm. Um, but yeah, Lord Paramount Torin the Imperius has declared the second Northern War to restore the Night's Watch. I've had this before. This was one of the events that happened in between episodes that I uh, talked about. 
and I don't know, it, it ended inconclusively, well, I don't know, it was very strange. Um, yeah, so as you can see, the second war, I don't really know what's gonna come out of this. Um, if, however, I mean, if the Night's Watch becomes part of the North, that will then allow me to actually conquer beyond the wall. I basically just don't want to have, you know, this black strip of land in between my realm. That would look so hideous, I don't want to do that. Um, but yeah, if, if the North conquers the wall, then I might as well conquer beyond the wall. Uh, still though, we would have to fix our vassal limit, but I think I can change the laws so that that works. Rule of Diplomacy bonus. King rank base 30. I wonder if I change this, we will get Feudal Vassal Pinion actually goes down. Oh, no, it goes up. Um, and Vassal Limit plus 5. Okay. Vassal. Oh, but they will have. They will give me less levy, but I will have more vassals. And everyone supports that. So that would be possible. So I might go with that, but I haven't really decided yet. Um, one of your beloved wives covets the position of first wife and has been trying to woo you into elevating her to that status. Oh, yes, she would make a good first wife. No, Visenya is first among my wives, now and always. That's actually a difficult question, but here's the thing. Rainey's, you have no... No, I will not elevate you. Visenya has the Dragon Axe. She has the three kids, and you have done basically nothing. So, no, Visenya is actually my first wife. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, on that note, I'm going to have to end this episode, guys. I hope you have enjoyed, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.